What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna go ahead and wire up our dome lights. I got a lot of comments on my last video when I did the uh, side mirrors that you guys wanted me to show you how to run the dome lights. Cause I understand a lot of you guys do want that feature to be working. I didn't want that really because um, like I said, I already have the Chevy symbol on the bottom. But I might as well show you guys how to do that too because a lot of you guys wanted to know that too. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first to find the correct wiring that we're gonna need, all you need to do is kind of press down on here with the tool and this part just comes off. And looks to me like it really doesn't matter then. One of these is ground and one of these is power. Doesn't matter in which order. We can go ahead and test it out. But I think it really doesn't matter. As long as one is ground and one is um, power, we're good. But we want to tap this to our dome light. So we got to find the same orange wiring in that little white harness that we found the power folding feature. So it should be some wiring that kind of looks like this in there. So let's go check it out in the inside. Luckily everything should be here. So we shouldn't have to take off the whole panel because I put everything in this panel here. So all I have to do is take off the two 10 millimeter screws that are here. Take this part off and then pry this up. We grab our white plug that comes from our side mirror and these are the same wires here orange with white orange with white like I said it doesn't matter if you use this one for 12 volts or this one for ground or vice versa but you do need your ground and you need your power so I'm gonna be splicing it right here and luckily for me I do have the wiring which is this one for our dome light that's down here, if you guys can see that. And I'll show you the inside of the cab which one you're gonna tap into, but there we have it. And you guys can see that that's, so I'm gonna tap into the same one, which this same one is connected to that one right there. So whenever I open the doors or I unlock my truck, that one turns on, this one turns on the bottom, and now the little dome light right there will turn on. I'm gonna be switching those out to LEDs too because they come with a little halogen bulbs or whatever. So real quick, I'm gonna be tapping into here, putting another connector like this, and splicing it into that, into these two. Right there. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. So we got our connector here to our orange white orange white there we have it now this red wire that comes here we ran it a couple years ago from our boot down to our kick panel so I'll show you which one to tap into right there that's the dome light and that red wire comes up here and then we have it this connector right now going down to the bottom little puddle light now we're just gonna splice into this part here and make another connector for this. So I know we need a lot of connections and connectors and everything to make these side mirrors work, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Otherwise, we have to get the BCM flashed and a bunch of other stuff. When we can just do the hard wiring ourselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and splice into this, make another connector and then connect them back together and we can test it out.
test. So same thing, just connect our connectors here. All right, kind of kind of push everything back in, and then we'll close the door and open it back up and see if our dome light turns on. Everything fits back in neatly. There we go. All right, let's go close the door, open everything up, and see if our dome light turns on right there. It's right there hanging right now. Bam. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. Up and working. And down here, let's see this one. There you guys have it. Chevy sign is working and our dome light is working. So since we have it out, I'm gonna go ahead and change these to LEDs. Cause nobody likes that yellowish light. These are the LEDs right here. Again, bam, nice and white light. There you go. I don't know if you guys can see that. White light. We're all done with this side. We're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. Everything's wired up. Let's test it out. There we have it. This one I already put an LED on it. Bam, there we have it. Let's go ahead and reattach the clear plastic up here. And we're all set. I'll give you guys a demo at night to see how the whole thing looks. We got our dome light still working here. We got the other light. And we got this light now. And we got the one at the doors. Alright guys, I'm under the dash. I'm going to show you where you're going to connect your dome light. So, it's kind of hard to maneuver this right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to try to point it out to you. Uh, okay, there's that white plug right there. There's a green one and there's a white one. You guys can see that right there? Yeah, kind of. Okay. In that white one, there is a gray wire coming out of it. There's a yellow wire and then there's a gray one. You're gonna tap into the great one. So let me show you. You can kind of see it right there. Kind of hard to see. It's like a light gray wire right there. And it's kind of hard to get lighting in here. There you go. It's that light gray wiring right there. Kind of looks white, but it's light gray. So that's the wire you guys tap into. And then uh, I didn't use any relays. I don't think um, the LEDs, honestly, for this bottom part and the mirrors take up a lot of um, power. So I particularly didn't use any. There we go. There's another look at those. All right, I'll catch you guys at nighttime so I can show you a true demonstration of how this all looks all put together. All right, guys, I waited till it's completely dark to show you guys. All I'm doing is unlocking it. So we got LEDs there. We got LEDs on the license plates. LED there. Then let me show you guys here. There we go. So this is the view we get. Right there. Let me open the door. We got our Chevy symbol down here. I might be replacing this one with like a Project VC one. That'll be tight. Like to do the logo here in this area. Pretty sure it could be done. But you know what? I actually do like how it looks. It gives it some light there. A little courtesy dome light. A 
There it is. Lock it, turns off. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Make sure that you guys subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed. Make sure to check out Project VC to copy your merch. Support the channel by getting your decals, your stickers, and everything. We're about to hit 13,000 subscribers, so make sure that you guys uh, do support the channel, do repost it, share it to your friends, share it to your family, because we want to reach 13,000. You know I do a giveaway every 1,000 uh, subscribers, so we're going to be giving away uh, more merch. So as soon as we reach that, I think we only have a few more uh, subscribers to go, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure to check out my Instagram if you guys want to be updated before YouTube. We got a lot planned for the channel besides the truck. We got other trucks coming, so make sure you guys do stay tuned. That's going to be it for this one. Stay tuned for the next one. Met a limitation, hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding niggas out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win it, my nigga, I'm feeling great. Got a date with destiny, focusing on my